Hi friends! Welcome to Storytime with the Met. My name is Emily and I'm so glad that you've joined me today. We are going to read a story, take a look at a work of art, and do a project together. Are you ready? Great! Okay, let's find a spot. And we are going to begin with our Storytime song, just like we do when we're together in the museum. It goes to the tune of This Old Man. You can sing along with me or just clap. Are you ready? One, two, three. Welcome, friends. Get ready, get set for story time with the net, where we love to read and sing and look at works of art and picture books. We'll use our eyes to look and see. We'll use our ears to hear stories. Now let's take a seat and give a cheese. Let's begin with our first book. Nice job. Our story today is all about community, generosity, and gratitude. Sharing with other people and thanking other people. It's called Thank You Amu by Oge Mora. Let's take a look inside. I'm going to read the words and I need your help looking at the pictures. Thank you, Amu. On the corner of First Street and Long Street, on the very top floor, Amu was cooking a thick red stew in a big fat pot for a nice evening meal. She seasoned and stirred it and took a small taste. What a delicious stew, Amu said. Tonight's dinner will surely be the best I have ever had. There's Amu tasting her stew. With that, Amu put down her spoon and went to read a book before supper. As the thick red stew simmered on the stove, its scrumptious scent wafted out the window and out the door, down the hall, toward the street, and around the block until, knock, someone was at the door. When Amu opened it, she saw, let's take a look and then see who she finds. A little boy. Amu exclaimed, what brings you to my home? I was playing with my race car down the hall when I smelled the most delicious smell, the little boy replied. What is it? Thick red stew. Mmm, stew, he sighed. That sure sounds yummy. Amu thought for a moment. She was saving her stew for dinner, but she had made quite a bit. It would not hurt to share. Would you like some? The little boy nodded, and so Amu spooned out some thick red stew from the big fat pot for her nice evening meal. Thank you, Amu, the little boy said, and went on his way. With that, Amu closed the door and went back to her book. As she read, her thick red stew's scrumptious scent wafted out the window and out the door, down the hall, toward the street, around the block, until, knock, knock, someone was at the door. When Amu opened the door, this time she saw... officer. Miss Police Officer, Amu exclaimed. What brings you to my home? I was on duty down the street when I smelled the most delicious smell, Miss Police Officer replied. What is it? Thick red stew. Ah, stew, she said, and her mouth watered. That sounds mighty tasty. Amu thought for a moment. There was still enough to share. Would you like some? The police officer nodded. 
Once again, Alma spooned out some thick red stew from the big fat pot for her nice evening meal. Thank you, Amu, the police officer said, and went on her way. And so for the second time, Amu closed the door and went back to her book. Sure enough, as she read, her thick red stew's scrumptious scent wafted out the window and out the door, down the hall, toward the street, and around the block until... Knock, knock, knock. Again, someone was at Amu's door. This time, when she opened it, she saw... Let's see who's going to be there this time. A hot dog vendor. Mr. Hot Dog Vendor, Amu exclaimed. Who brings you to my home? I was selling my hot dogs down the block when I smelled the most delicious smell. Mr. Hot Dog Vendor replied, What is it? Thick red stew. Oh, stew, the vendor licked his lips. That sounds quite delectable. So Amu spooned out some thick red stew from the big fat pot for her nice evening meal. Thank you, Amu, the hot dog vendor said, and went on his way. Oh, he smells that yummy stew. Throughout the day, people from all across the neighborhood knocked on Amu's door. She fed a shop owner, a cab driver, a doctor, an actor, a lawyer, a dancer, a baker, an artist, a singer, an athlete, a bus driver, a construction worker, even the mayor stopped by, and each time they knocked, Anu shared. Soon, the sky darkened, the street lights brightened, and it was finally time for dinner. But when Anu opened her big fat pot of thick red stew for her evening meal, it was empty. Oh no! Oh, sniffles. There goes the best dinner I ever had. Sorry and blue, she sat at the table with her empty pot until... Knock, 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 knock. Who could that be? Anna wondered. When she opened the door, she saw... The little boy, and the police officer, the hot dog vendor, the shop owner, the cab driver, the doctor, the actor, the lawyer, the dancer, the baker, why everyone she fed today was at her door. I'm sorry, everyone, Amu sighed. My thick red stew is all gone, and I have nothing left to share. The little boy tugged at Amu's sleeve. Don't worry, Amu, we are not here to ask. We are here to give. The police officer carried in a fresh salad. The mayor entered with a roast chicken. The baker brought a collection of sweet goodies. Even the little boy presented Amu with something special in a shiny red envelope. Everyone who had knocked on Amu's door that day squeezed inside her tiny apartment, and together they ate, danced, and celebrated, while Amu's big, fat pot of thick red stew was empty. Her heart was full of happiness and love. There they are together. The whole neighborhood, all together, thanking Amu. And that dinner was the best she had ever had. Thank you, Amu. The end. I love that story. It reminds me of a jar in the museum. It was made almost 200 years ago in Maine. Take a look. What do you see? What do we notice about
this jar. Can you take your finger and trace the line of the shape of the jar? Go all the way around. See that handle? And down again. Go all the way around. It has a really interesting shape. It's thought that maybe this jar and its interesting shape could have sat in the hole of a big iron stove. And it could have been used for stew. Maybe stew to feed a whole community, just like Amu did. Look again at the jar. Do you see how it's decorated? The artist who made it made lines in the clay, and they also stamped patterns in the clay. What kinds of shapes and patterns and designs do you see? Good looking, friend. Well, we are going to make a jar or a pot or anything you have at home to share notes of gratitude with our family or friends. Are you ready? Let's see what we're going to do. So this is mine. I used a paper cup like a paper pot and I decorated it Let's see. all the way around with patterns and lines and I put some notes of things that I was going to share with my family and friends inside. This one says, thank you for being a kind friend. And this one says, thank you for sharing. So I'll show you what I used. Are you ready? Okay. So I had some paper cups, some paper bowls at home. You could use a plate, a cup, a bowl, whatever you have. So just a plain paper cup. I decorated the outside of it using colored pencils. You can also use crayons or markers or even paint. Now, I stamped on my paper cup just like the artist who made our jar stamped into that clay, pressed into the clay. So I had some stamps that I used and some stamped ink. You can use that too if you have some at home. And I used some fancy paper to cut out my notes and put them inside my jar. Who will you make your jar for? And who will you share a note of thanks with? I can't wait to see what you make. Well, friends, thank you for joining me for Storytime at the Met. We hope to see you again soon. Bye!